What's going on, everybody? I hope all is well. Jeff Randall here, and for those of you out there that have watched pretty much any of my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of Ghost Notes. I love the way they add feel and character to grooves while still being understated and not busying things up too much. So today I wanna share with you guys eight famous Ghost Note beats that'll hopefully inspire you to get behind the kit and tighten up your approach to this technique. All right, we're kicking things off with one of the most popular Ghost Note patterns of all time. And it comes from one of my favorite songs as a kid, Closing Time by Semisonic. Next up, I've got the ghost note pattern that I most often use because of the way it repeats over and over again, and it's featured in Justin Timberlake's Like I Love You. This next beat takes that exact same ghost note pattern, but adds some accents to it and gives it a swing feel that only Chad Sexton can. This is 311's All Mixed Up. Next up, we've got a classic Chad Smith beat that places the ghost notes directly after the back beats. This is a tricky technique to get used to at first, but if you can get it down, it sounds great. This is Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. In this next one, I've got another beat that places the ghost notes directly after the back beats. This one is Steve McQueen by Sheryl Crow with my all-time favorite drummer, Steve Jordan, laying it down. This next beat's probably the trickiest of the bunch because of its busy ghost note and bass drum patterns, but if you can lock it in, it sounds killer. This is Two Princes by The Spin Doctors. And in our last two beats, we're gonna check out two of the pioneers for this ghost note technique approach, James Brown drummers John Jabo Starks and Clyde Stubblefield. Up first is Soul Power 74 by Maceo and the Max, which features James's backing band, the JBs, with Jabo on the drums. And lastly, we have one of my all-time favorite ghost note patterns where the ghost notes are placed right before the backbeats. This is a really tricky technique to pull off, but if you can lock it in, it sounds really funky. This is Give It Up or Turn It A Loose by James Brown with Clyde Stubblefield on the drums.
All right, that's gonna do it, everybody. I'll have the transcription and practice loops for these beats linked down below. And for those of you that wanna dive deeper into this world of ghost notes, I'll have my ghost note basics PDF included with that stuff that has a ton of different combinations for you to work on. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.